Minister, you're very well. welcome to, um, to Shannon Aaron's even, and um, it's, a, it's, it's always great to have an opportunity to speak about agriculture and indeed speak about climate, climate change in this chamber. Um, Minister, as you know, well know, um, I am absolutely passionate about our indigenous industry. It's who I am, it's how I was reared, it's how I rear my own children, and it's part of if my every single, my daily life in um, agriculture. Um, and you know, you're, you highlighted this and your commitment to this, to your, to your brief, your commitment to your own community, you highlighted that by travelling around every single county in, this, in, on, on, in the Republic um, asking farmers their opinion during your consulta consultation uh, phase. And that has to be rewarded. So you're the first minister to have done that and um, I absolutely um, applaud you and, and congratulate for you to do, for doing that. And uh, the day you, we had you in, in RD for, to meet our, our loud farmers, it was a great day. And I look forward to welcoming you again, Minister, because um, I know you've, uh, you've, you've an awful lot of friends in County Loud. Um, Minister, you know and we all know that agriculture and our rural landscape is what Ireland is known for. It's known our beautiful, our, it's all across the world, our beautiful land, our top quality produce, it is well known. We are the Emerald Island, Green Island, and we know we have a lot of work to do to make this country indeed green by, by, by name and also green by nature, green and sustainable. We have, a, we have a, you know, a huge targets of 51% reduction in our overall greenhouse gas emi emissions by 2030, and that will set us on the zero emissions target by 2050. And I know we can do this, and we, and we can do this by working together across all departments and across all industries. And, and you know, I suppose I've been advocating for you know, strong environmental, environmental uh, policies as, as long as I can remember um, since I joined a, 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 the green team in. An, and created a green team in my primary school, uh, pushing for this, um, I dare say, over 20 odd something years ago. Uh, so I've been, this, is what I, this is what we all be, believe, it's what I was brought up as, a, as, a, as a, far, a, a farmer's daughter, to know that we have to look after our countryside, look after our, our animals and look after the produce and what we create on this island. And you know we do have to step up in every single in industry, but I think we, to make sure that we bring everyone with us, Minister, and we know significant changes are needed. We know significant decisions are being made in every, in every aspect, but it also sometimes feels that the agricultural community are under fire, and not by you, Minister, not by the department, but also feels like they're being blamed by, by, you know, by society for every single carbon emission in our country. You know, we look at, but you have to look at our transport industry, the lack of move and sustainable packaging, the way in our public se sector, the, our buildings, um, our hospitals, you can see you know, windows, windows open and heat on. So this match, this joined up thinking, this match, we can't blame the farmers for everything. And I know, Minister, you, you don't do that. And we all know farmers um, want to change. They want to protect what they have on the, on the, have on, on their land. But like, I suppose, to pardon upon, the environment is so tense at the minute. You know, they're, they're, they're working under, you know, pressurised, they're pressurised, pressurized, they're volatile, they're working to a margin that is incredibly tight. And when a farmer doesn't receive a cost price for what they produce, never mind a profit, it is understandable how worried farmers are. Um, and, and I know there, there is a space for, you know, their for forestation. I do think that we have to change our attitude towards this and reduce the bureaucracy of planting and, and harvesting. You know, make, uh, make it accessible, easy, you know, build the rewards of tree planting and, and protection of our hedgerows into the reward scheme. Um, a match is a question sequestration by trees and hedgers to the production of food. Measure it, highlight it and scream it from the rooftop, rooftops, Minister, because we know our farmers are sustainable. We know an awful lot of what they produce. They're already carbon neutral. Yes, there are other greenhouse gases, but in carbon, they are, I, I imagine they are absolutely um, on top of being carbon neutral um, as it stands. Um, as someone who grew up on a very small and, and uh, a beef suckler um, farm, I know that struggle, Minister, and I re very welcome the struggle of uh, the disappointment at the table when the cheque comes and you're not getting the cost for your animals. You're not getting that cost price for your animals. And it is a, you know, it is a, it is, it is a fairly depressing day when that cheque comes on the table and, and doesn't cover costs. But I absolutely welcome the, uh, um, your, your commitment to the National Food Ombudsman to make sure that we have fair, um, fair uh, trading practices um, and to implement that, that, that directive that um, was highlighted in your, in your spr spring um, legislation. I also want to highlight the importance of actually 
implementing um, for, on, a, on, a different, on a different note, on a, just the tiny animals that we have in this country, the bees and protection of bees, and to support um, our colleagues, um, Senator, Sen Senator Vincent P. Martin, on his bill that I seconded here in this House. And you know that I'm a huge advocate for, 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 for our bees, for our native biodiversity, our native trees, and looking after. And really, we, we have an opportunity to preserve the native bee in this country. And we can do that by banning the importation of bees on, on environmental, forget about the EU law um, of, of, free, of free movement of goods. We have a good, um, a good rationale for the protection of our bees, and I hope that we can do that and move forward ambitious, because I am really ambitious for agriculture and climate change in this country. Girl, my gosh.